You may write me down in history with your bitter, twisted lies. You may trod me with the very dirt, but still, like dust, I rise. Beautiful, powerful, tenacious, dominant, and the GOAT. When it comes to the sport of female tennis, only one athlete comes to mind, and it's Serena Williams. Serena has defied the odds in her professional career and is now widely considered the greatest female tennis player, if not the greatest female athlete of all time. In this video, we will look at the top six things to know about Serena's background, GOAT lifestyle, and net worth. Number six, early life and career. Serena Jamika Williams was born on September 26, 1981 in Saginaw, Michigan, to her parents Orisine Price and Richard Williams. Serena is the youngest of Price's five daughters, while she also has at least seven paternal half-siblings. The family moved to Compton, California when Serena was still a baby. By the time Serena was just four years old, she picked up her first tennis racket. Her parents ensured that there was a balance between the girls' pursuit of tennis and education by having them homeschool. Serena viewed Venus as her role model and tried to do everything like her big sister. In 1991, she played her first junior tournament when she faced Venus in the finals. Later that year, Richard Williams met the girls' first high-profile professional coach, Rick Macy, in Compton. Macy, in an ESPN article, highlighted early signs the sisters had the potential for greatness. He stated, what blew me away was their burning desire to run and fight and get to every ball like their hair was on fire. I had never seen two kids try so hard. I had never seen bodies that can move like that. Athletes with their body types went to other sports. They didn't play tennis. There's no doubt in my mind, you know, I've worked with enough good kids and pros. Both kids definitely can go as far as they want. I think the day will come that both kids might play each other in the finals of a Grand Slam. I think both of them have the capabilities to be top five in the world. Uh, uh, Richard's very fortunate. It's lucky you get one in the family, but he has two, and both the girls have that ability. At age 10, Richard decided to stop sending his daughters to national junior tennis tournaments for them to progress slowly and focus on their education. Richard also wanted to protect his girls from racism. He heard the other parents talk about the girls in a derogatory manner during tournaments because of their dominance. These girls, they're not developed physically nor mentally. They're not ready to play, and it haven't worked yet. And the third reason they shouldn't come out that early, it's too hard on the families. It tears the family to pieces. And uh, we are a great family. And without, you know, bringing the girls out late or uh, later, It'll be better all around for the family, for the girls, for tennis. So we, in our case, we'll come out later. After turning pro at 14, Serena's first professional event was in October 1995 at the Bell Challenge in Quebec. She used a wild card entry to circumvent age eligibility rules. However, she lost in the first round of qualifying to a girl four years older, and she won just two games in the match. After choosing to sit out the 1996 season, Serena started to create shockwaves in the 1997 season. At the Ameritech Cup in Chicago, Serena was ranked as the number 304th in the world, but upset the world number seven Mary Pierce and the number four ranked Monica Seles. In the process, she became the lowest ranked player in the open era to defeat two top 10 opponents in one tournament. In 1998, she achieved her first major success when she won the mixed doubles with her partner Max Mirny at Wimbledon and the U.S. Open. In the 1999 U.S. Open, Serena finally fulfilled her potential by capturing her first major title. It's just really too exciting to compete right now. I mean, I've, I've been practicing so long for this moment and it came and it's, it's here and I don't, it's really exciting. It's really great. The 2002-2003 season can be considered Serena's career year. After recovering from injury, she went on to win the French Open, Wimbledon, and the U.S. Open in 2002. In January 2003, she completed what is now called the Serena Slam and became the fifth woman to hold all Grand Slam singles titles and the sixth woman overall to have a career Grand Slam. In 2012, she won her first gold medal at the London Olympics to complete the career Golden Slam. Williams completed her second Serena Slam by winning the 2015 Wimbledon Championship. Williams also became the oldest woman in the Open era to win a Grand Slam singles title. I can't believe I'm standing here with another Serena Slam, so it's really cool. Um, you guys helped me get through it. I heard all you guys. I heard all the I love yous. I love you more. In 2018, Williams defied the odds by returning to tennis after giving birth to her daughter. 
She narrowly missed out in adding to more majors after finishing as runners-up in Wimbledon and the US Open. At 40 years old, the only significant record that Serena failed to break is Margaret Court's record of 24 major titles, with her tally one behind at 23. Yet she has revolutionized women's tennis with her powerful ground strokes, pulverizing serve, and rightfully considered the GOAT of modern tennis. Fun fact. Serena Williams was a sore loser as a child. Her mother confessed she always had to win. No matter if it was a talent show, cards, she had to be the winner. She would sit on cards and they would let her do it. They gave it to her, even if she didn't win. I think it affects her to this day because she hates losing. Yeah, like Jordan, Tiger, Brady, Serena hated losing, which pushed her to greatness. Number five, earnings, endorsement, and net worth. Between 1999 and 2001, Serena Williams earned only three million as she began her young professional career. Her earnings gradually increased due to the increase in sponsorship and the equal pay between men and women. Therefore, between 2013 and 2015, she won approximately $30.3 million in prize money. As she has gotten older, Serena has wisely focused on the majors. It benefits her more financially since the deeper she goes in these tournaments means the more she earns. Over her two-decade career, Serena has earned over $92 million up to this point in her career in prize money, which puts her at number one all-time in WTA history. Serena Williams is one of the most marketable athletes in the world. The tennis star has nearly 20 corporate partners. One of her main endorsers is Nike. After signing a deal with Puma when she became a professional, in 2003, she signed with Nike on an eight-year endorsement deal that is reported to be worth $55 million with performance incentives. She has since continued her partnership with the apparel company and gotten a raise. Williams' racket sponsor is Wilson, and she has used their rackets for all of her professional career. They have allowed her to play with multiple models, and she seems to have virtually a lifetime contract with them at this time. Other endorsers include Gatorade, Lincoln, DirecTV, Chase Bank, and Pepsi. I started getting more endorsement opportunities and, um, you know, talk shows and stuff like that that I never had before. And um, it was completely different. And it just started ever since then. It's just been a part of my life. Serena is also a savvy entrepreneur and investor. She has investments in 66 startups through Serena Ventures and sits on the boards of Poshmark and SurveyMonkey's parent, Momentiv. She was among the prominent investors in the NFT platform Bitsky in a funding round announced in May 2021. In April 2021, Williams signed a first look TV deal with Amazon Studios that includes a docu-series about her. She launched a direct-to-consumer clothing line S by Serena in 2018. She also owns an estimated 0.5% stake in the Miami Dolphins. According to CelebrityNetWorth.com, Serena Williams is worth a gigantic $250 million. Serena is not only mega rich, but is someone kind and generous with her wealth. From 2004 to 2005, Serena and Venus visited hospitals and played tennis matches to raise money for Ronald McDonald House charities. They brought the media into this charitable venture by having ESPN do an entire special. Serena later founded the Serena Williams Foundation, which provides scholarships to universities for underprivileged students. The foundation also joined forces with Helping Hands Jamaica to build the Salt Marsh Primary School for children in Jamaica in Trelawney Parish. Serena and Venus also teamed up to found the Yetundi Price Resource Center in Compton in honor of their late sister. The center provides aid and services to families affected by community violence. In 2017, Williams became an ambassador for the Allstate Foundation's Purple Purse Project. She also supports the NHS's Great Ormond Street Children's Hospital in London, the Holly Rod Foundation, the Eva Longoria Foundation, and several others. Well, for me, charity is the biggest thing. Um, I, I love giving back. In fact, when I was younger, I always dreamed of going to Africa and just doing something there. I didn't know it would be a school. I didn't know what it was. I just knew that I wanted to get there some way. So. Fun fact. Serena never doubted her abilities as a child. Rick Macy stated, at 11, she told me she thought she was better than John McEnroe. She said, did you ever see his strokes? He has terrible strokes. I can beat him for sure. It was silly, but she meant it from the heart and she believed it. Yeah, to be the GOAT, you have to be confident or even borderline cocky, and Serena had it. Number three, cars. Serena has made a remarkable amount of wealth. She can afford exotic cars or pretty much any car she wants. 
Before Williams was a brand ambassador for Lincoln, she was the face of Aston Martin. As a result, she owned a 5.9 liter V12 engine. The Aston Martin Vanquish is a perfect blend of power and style, something that complements the way Williams approaches her tennis career. The Aston Martin Vanquish can cost you up to $298,000. Serena also owns a Bentley Continental GT. The Continental GT comes with a 4.0 liter V8 engine and maxes out at 198 miles per hour. Power and elegance are once again the standout characteristics of a Serena Williams car. This vehicle can cost you a cool $220,000. The tennis superstar, like so many other wealthy and powerful people, gets behind the wheel of a Mercedes G-Wagon. Equipped with a 4.0 liter V8, the G-Class can handle just about anything you throw at it. The vehicle can cost you $150,000. Number 2. Mansion Serena Williams owns an extravagant Spanish Mediterranean style estate north of Miami. Five years ago, Serena purchased this 14,500 square foot property determined to manifest her dream home. She enlisted the help from the absolute best person to help her tackle this project, her sister Venus Williams and her interior design firm, V-Star. The living room is like a gallery filled with eclectic artwork, including some of her paintings. It's like a mini museum inside her home. Truthfully, the museum doesn't stop at the gallery though. Inside Serena's library is another must-see piece, a see-through piano. Not to mention she has a trophy room to browse, although the collection is limited because some of her major trophies are stored elsewhere. Serena's mansion also contains a karaoke slash media room, which is enfolded with sparkly custom-made 3D wallpaper. She didn't want a traditional movie theater space in her home, but instead something more functional. The space includes a small stage, a lounge area with plush aquamarine colored swivel chairs, and a cozy sitting area with a guitar collection and a neon sign reading, Serenade. The mansion is worth approximately $6 million. So when I was talking to these stars, like, listen team, I want something really functional that can work as like a karaoke place. So they gave me a little bit of a stage. Me and Olympia sing on it often. And these chairs are actually super Number functional. one, husband. Serena Williams is married to Alexis Ohanian. The professional tennis player and the tech entrepreneur met by chance while staying at the same hotel in Rome. How romantic. Before the couple could say I do, Serena got pregnant and gave birth to their daughter, Alexis Olympia Ohanian Jr. in April 2017. In November 2017, the couple tied the knot in New Orleans. I know everyone says they marry their best friend, but you're not only my best friend, but you make me my best me. You complete everything that is in me. Alexis Ohanian is famous in the tech world since he is best known as the co-founder and executive chairman of the social media site Reddit, along with Steve Huffman and Aaron Schwartz. He also co-founded the early stage venture capital firm Initialize Capital, helped launch the travel search website Hitmonk, and started the social enterprise BreadPig. Although his wife is richer, CelebrityNetWorth.com has O'Hanion worth a sweet $40 million. From the streets of Compton, the rise of Serena Williams has been nothing short of remarkable. She is an incredible champion, displayed tremendous longevity, and her GOAT mega earnings have the world right at her feet. Do you think she's the greatest female tennis player of all time? Is she the greatest female athlete, period? Let me know in the comment section below. Smash the like button and subscribe to the channel for more premium sports content. Until next time.